Yeah. Hey, 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 I'm good. How are you? Good. Good. Thank you so much for taking the time. Sorry if you hear my son in the background. Oh my <laughs> gosh. I was going to say sorry if you hear my daughter in the background. Oh, no, that's okay. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Thank you so much. I just, just wanted to reach out and introduce myself and, and just see mm -hmm. if I can bring some value to mm -hmm. what you're doing here on social media to build your real estate business. Yeah. Yes. Are you, are you, what, what do you got going on? Are you doing any, any marketing online or any Facebook ads or anything like that? Um, so I would like to, and I'm actually, I wasn't sure which invite you got because I'm, I started running our team's social media, uh -huh. um, because they kind of like see what I'm doing on there and they're just like, can you run our Facebook page, our Instagram page? Um, so I, it, I, whenever you said that, I was like, this would be great because then I could run ads off my page and then run ads on uh, the team page too. Yes. Awesome. So is it, so it's, is it you and your husband that have a team or, or who, who has a team? No. So, um, I'm actually on another, like these guys team that the, um, the one guy he's, he's actually, he's only 26. He just turned 26 and mm. he did like, I think he did 16 or 17 million by himself, nice. um, which for nice. being that young in our market is incredible. Mm -hmm. Um, and just with me, I, I was on my own for a while and then they kind of said, Hey, we're, we're looking for someone that has experience. We, they're, they started this team and they have a ton of brand new agents. Mm -hmm. And I was kind of like, why do you want me to come over? But they wanted someone experienced where if they have too much business, they can hand it off and trust, you know, they want someone they can trust. Um, so I'm kind of taking on their, like I have my clients taking on their clients if needed. Um, they'll just like hand off referrals and then also now doing the social media. So it's a lot. And okay. Um, <laughs> You know, just if I could run the ads and that would be, you know, or just growing our business. Like, even if I can't take it on, like there's so many new agents, we're kind of mm -hmm. looking mm -hmm. on how to generate leads for those new agents too, that might not have as much business right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it. Okay. So here's the deal. Okay. We'll spend maybe 20 minutes here and I'm going to, I'm going to just kind of give you a 30,000 square foot view of what I see and, and, and what I recommend you do. Um, okay. And, and, and I, I boiled it all down to five basic steps. And, and I got these five steps from following thousands of agents. So my whole background, just to give you a little bit of context of where I'm getting all this from, is I've just been doing this forever. Like I've been in the field of internet marketing and online advertising for the past 20 years. So 20, oh, wow. 21 years, that started all in 1999, just really trying to crack the code on what it takes to capture a lead on the internet whatever business, right? So I've been doing that forever, but in 2010 is when I became a lender. So I jumped into the, into the mortgage industry here in San Diego. I've been in San Diego forever since day one, but I've, I've been here forever and I did mortgages here in San Diego from 2010 to 2016. And so as I'm doing mortgages, I'm obviously networking with a ton of realtors. They're coming to our bank. We're getting their clients approved for first time home, home buying. And I'm just meeting a bunch of real estate agents. And because of my background in marketing, I knew that the majority of them were not leveraging social media. Mm -hmm. And so at the end of 2016, <clears throat> that's when I was already getting sick and tired of mortgages. And so I leave mortgages to start helping real estate agents with their social media marketing and Facebook advertising. So since 2016, I've literally spoken to thousands of agents on this exact topic. And okay. so from a marketing perspective, when I left mortgages in 2016, I knew that I had to get to you guys somehow, some way. And when it comes to marketing, <clears throat> how can I, <clears throat> like, even with you, you're thinking marketing, how can I get that next buyer? How can I next, mm -hmm. how can I find that next seller? It's all marketing. So in my case, in 2016, I'm thinking marketing, I'm thinking, how can I get to every agent? Like, I'm not going to mm -hmm. cold call you guys. I'm not going to door yeah. knock. Like, I didn't even want to reach out to my existing network. I knew a lot of realtors. I was their mortgage guy. But I didn't even yeah. want to reach out to them. I didn't want to say, hey, John, you know, I did your mortgage for your client last year, but now I'm doing marketing. Would you like me to help you? Like, I didn't, I didn't want to be that guy, right? Mm -hmm. So what I did, Christina, in 2016 is I literally started kicking off. Like, when you come to my personal page over here, let me refresh my page. In 2016, I started kicking off all of my real friends. So okay. my 
in-laws, my brother, my cousins, my family, my neighbor, like my home, like my real homies, like people that I actually mm -hmm. know, my real friends. I started kicking them all off of my Facebook, putting them on my Instagram because my strategy over here was to fill up my 5,000 with agents. Gotcha. And so in 2016, I started requesting nothing but real estate agents. I started accepting nothing but real estate agents. So when you come to my page, my friend list, mm -hmm. it's a public list. You can look at every single one of them. When you look at my friend list, 4990, I'm here to tell you right now, 4989 are real estate agents. 4989. Wow. The only one who's not is my wife. And that's this one right here, <laughs> Melina. She's the only one on this 4990 who is not an agent. The reason why I'm telling you this is because since 2016, this has been my reality. Since 2016, I've been seeing what thousands of agents are doing when it comes to marketing mm -hmm. their business. That's why I'm telling you this. I've been seeing how you're posting your listings, how you're posting your open houses. I've been seeing it by the thousands. Now you, mm -hmm. you have your perspective. You've been building your business. You have your marketing strategies. You got your team. This dude is 26. Obviously he's successful. He has his mm -hmm. strategies, that, strategies that he's going to start, start teaching everyone. You guys have your little team. You have your mm -hmm. office and you have your philosophy and strategy and mindset. I'm yeah. just telling you, I've been seeing it by the thousands. I've been seeing what thousands of you guys are doing. And when you follow thousands of people, you start to see different patterns, different habits. When you follow thousands of people, Christina, that literally all have the same job, mm -hmm. you really start to see some things. And so yeah. that all started in 2016. To this day, that's, that's a list full of agents. And so in 2018 is when I wrote a book about this and it's called oh, the social wow. real estate agent, five steps to implement on social media to capture more leads and build your personal brand fast. The social real estate agent, the social real estate agent.com. That's a book that I put out in 2018 because by then I started realizing, I started seeing everyone and what they're doing. I started saying, man, wait a minute. Every agent is looking for that next lead. Every agent is posting how badass they are and how they'll list your house tonight and have it sold by tomorrow. Every, list, every agent is pitching and every agent is just concerned about that next buyer or seller, but they're mm -hmm. missing the basics. And so that's where I got these five steps. Coming onto social media to find that next deal is what I call step three. But I started realizing that every agent is missing step one and two. And these are basics. Like once I show them to you, you'll be like, damn, that's pretty basic, but that's super important. That's mm -hmm. where I came up with these five steps is just seeing what thousands of people are doing and seeing what thousands are not doing. And, and, and now to this date, speaking to thousands of you guys, everything I'm going to tell you is fact and not theory. This is not just because of my marketing background. It's because of what I see day to day in the market. Okay. So here's five basic steps, and this is going to help you start building your other your, your brand and, and your team's brand. Here's what step one is, okay? And you and I got here because you clicked invite for me to like your business page. That's yeah. what I call step two. Okay, so we'll get there. We'll definitely get there. Okay. Let's, I'm gonna back it up. I'm gonna dumb it down. And I'm gonna show you what you need to, need to implement. And this is what you need to implement on every agent's page. And, and here's what, I, here's what I'm, I'm fired up about. I'm fired up about the fact that that's gonna be your little, your, your role. And I'm fired up that we're going to be able to use your page as the example. Okay. So, so once I recommend and once I teach you how to update your page, you'll be able to show your page to every agent because I'm telling you, none of them are going to look like yours. Mm -hmm. And you'll be able to look at, you'll be, you'll be able to show your page and be like, Hey, okay, John, this is what your page need, needs to look like your personal page, your business page. And I, and I can help you do it for you. So you're going to be that person that says, John, I could do it for you. So here's step one. Here's what you want to focus on. And, 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 and although you have a personal page and a business page, mm -hmm. I'm here to tell you right now, 99% of the interaction is going to come from the personal page. Okay. You're going to be connecting with people here. You're going to be networking with people here. You're going to be posting here. Your genuine connections are going to come from here. Okay. So as you connect with people, and there's going to be two types of people that you ever bring aboard as a friend over here. There's two types of people. Number one is going to be someone that you're connecting with virtually, like, like me. You and I, we connected virtually. I don't know you. You don't know me. We came across each other on Facebook. We're now friends on Facebook. We are virtual friends on Facebook. 
That is, that is, that's what's going to, that's who's going to consist of your list. That's, that's person number one. And this applies for every platform, not just Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, whatever. The one type of person that you have as a follower is someone that you connect with virtually. The second person is going to be, is going to be someone that you meet around the way. Someone that you met at the grocery store, someone that you met at a, at a local restaurant, someone that you met, you know, at a bar, whatever. That person that happens to live in your local area, but never met you before, still doesn't know you. So if I was at the grocery store and, and, and I bumped into you guys, you and your husband or whatever, and we were, let's just say, freaking getting apples and bananas and we just bump carts and we start shooting the shit because we're networkers and we're entrepreneurs and that's what we do. We just start talking, right? Let's say we strike up a conversation. You're going to, because it's in your nature and it's in your DNA, you're going to tell me what you do. You're going to say, hey, David, and by the way, I'm an actual real estate agent. Here's my business card. It was nice meeting you. If you ever have any questions, feel free to reach out. You will normally and naturally tell me that. And this is someone we're meeting. You're meeting me, and I live in your local area, but I never met you before. So mm -hmm. I meet you locally, and we connect on Facebook. I still don't know you. That's the second type mm -hmm. of person. Okay? Now, here's step one. When I come to your page... There's information in this intro that is critical. When I come to this page and I look right here, because you're, bu you're, because you're building a business, I'm here to tell you you're missing out on so much business because of what's right. not listed in the intro. And All I'm right. telling you, I've seen this by the thousands. I come to any real estate agent page and it looks like this. Pittsburgh. Co Cowden, is that how you pronounce it? Cowden Creek? Yeah. Joined, and that's all you have. So I come across Christina's page. Now, obviously, I can look at images. The images alone, okay, amazing chick. She looks knowledgeable, beautiful, wife, family woman. I can look at an image and assume a lot. But because you're building a business, there's information that you want me to see. Mm. And it's not here. And mm -hmm. so here's what it should be. This is what I call step one. And this is basic branding, basic branding that everyone misses. I come across Christina's page. This is what she's showing me. I come across Candy's page. This is what she's showing me. I don't know Candy. I don't know Christina. But Candy is showing me a little bit more. So right away, I come to her page, and she's showing me a link to her business page. Nine out of ten of your agents that are on your team if you go to any of their personal page, I'm challenging you to do this later on. Go to any of their personal page, and they'll probably have a link to the broker's page. That's what I see by the thousands. This needs yeah. to be a link to your business page because to tell you the truth, okay. the only way your friends even knew you had a business page is because you clicked invite. Yeah. When I come to your personal page, I'm thinking, hey, is she even in real estate? What does she even do? Like, I don't see nothing, Right. Like compared to Candy's, mm -hmm. right away, she showed me a link to her business page. And then I scroll down just a bit, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn, and she's showing me her website address. And if you look closely, which you don't even have to look that close, every single one of them is identical. So her branding is on point. Yes. Simple. I'm telling you, Christina, this is basic. This is simple. And all you guys miss it. Branding mm -hmm. offline is everything. You have your name, you have your license number, you have your phone number, you have your, your, your headshot. You have your business card looking super professional. It's not even funny. But when it comes to social media, we're missing all of that. We're missing all of that in, important information. And here's the deal. On social media, this is the most important information. Social media. Let me know you're on Instagram. Let me know you got a Twitter. Let me know you're on Pinterest. Let me know you're on LinkedIn. Because chances are you're probably on a handful of these, but number one, they're not all matching. And number two, they're not listed. So step one is customizing the link to match one name and get them listed. Because as I come, okay. to, as I come to the personal page, it's right in front of my face. And as I click about to find out more about Candy, it's right in front of my face, Twitter, 
Pinterest, LinkedIn, Instagram, her website. If I come to Christina and click about to see what she's really up to, I see November 28th. Mm -hmm. I'm like, damn, is she even really doing it? Like what, what, you know, you know, and this is just the average consumer. The average consumer, it's not that we're looking for this stuff. It's just the average consumer when they, when they actually see it, it just gives off more credibility. That's all. It's a completely different social proof. It's letting me know mm -hmm. that, damn, Candy's in, she's in it to win it. Right. It, it's just, mm -hmm. it's just a different perception and that's branding. And so step one is listing them on the personal page and then bringing them over here to the, to the business page in the about section of the business page. This is where I should see all of your platforms as well. And everything should be under one name. So, so, so back to the actual platforms, here's what you need to understand. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and LinkedIn. Those are the top five. Th that's where billions of people are at. Every past client, every existing client, every future client you'll ever risk on is literally on one of those platforms. So it's not that you have to be posting all day. So don't have the company post, ha have you post all day. Cause I'm going to tell you that's a waste of time right now. I'll, I'll explain why. So it's not about posting all the time, but it's about letting our audience know where we're at. It's letting them know that we're real. That's what that's about. It's perception. Mm -hmm. I need to let you know that I'm, a, that I'm legit and you can find me on every platform. That's what that's really about. So, so, so get them listed, get them active and, and, and just let it be known that you're available. Do you have to be posting on all of them all day? No, you don't at all. If you just want to post on Facebook, keep it there, but at least have the other ones active. Because if I came to your page and I'm, and I'm rarely on Facebook, but, but, but Christina and David connected here. We became friends and I'm rarely on Facebook because I spend 57 hours a day on LinkedIn. You better hope that your link was right there and I clicked on it and I followed you there because if I ever message you, it's going to be there because that's where I'm comfortable mm -hmm. messaging. And if it was regarding real estate, you better hope you get that message. Right? So I come over to yeah. Candy's. I notice she's on LinkedIn. Boom. I'm going to click. I'm going to follow her there. Today, that's what it's all about. No one's picking up the phone and calling you. So you don't need your phone number blasted everywhere. No one is calling you. Mm -hmm. People are going to follow you on social media. They're going to message you on social media before they ever pick up the phone and call you. You and I communicated through social media. We're on a call today because of social media. I don't even know your phone number. Right? So that's yeah. super important. That's basic and everyone misses it. So that's step one, list them on the personal page, list them on the business page. Here is step two. Let me pull up, um, let me pull up your, your, uh, business page. What's your business page? Um, if you, it's, I think, I don't even, Be what's good. under, <laughs> well, so it's like you change the thing to like, it's yeah. Christina P G H real estate is like my, like Facebook P Christina PGH real estate, but that's why it's like, I, my biggest problem. And now that I'm like thinking about it is like just having everything the same. Like I have oh, too many yeah. different oh, names yeah. going on here. Is it, um, like my thing doesn't even show up. Um, try, it might even be under Westling. Um, try W E S L I N G for, uh, no, do actually do Christina P G H real estate. P G H. Yeah. That's what my thing's supposed to be. Let me see if, um, let me see if I could just put it all in one word. Yeah. Um, and put it up here. So this is where I would, I would search it. So yeah. Facebook.com forward slash. Perfect. Okay. So here's here. So, so again, this link should be over here. Okay. So just like, just like candies, real estate agent at, and that link is this one. Okay. So, so, so here's step two. Okay. And again, if I click about back to step one, this is where I should see everything. But all I see, and see, this is a good one right here, but I don't think you're going to probably be able to get that on other platforms. I would think someone would have that on LinkedIn, but I don't know. But, mm -hmm. but, but again, you have the .com, 
and then you have the username. So everything I'm saying about step one is about the username. The title, yeah. that's one thing. You can have that whatever you want. But the username, okay. facebook.com forward slash, instagram.com forward slash, that's the username. This okay. is what you have as a username, and then you have a different dot com. Yeah. So that's my point. Well, I had the, I had the, the website first, um, and that's why I need to change. I could mm -hmm. probably change the domain name, I guess, because um, oh, my Instagram oh. and my Facebook are both the Christina PGH Real Estate. Um, okay. So I just have to, I'm going to change, I should change the, uh, the website, actually. Yeah, and, and I'll show you how to get it for a dollar. So that won't run you a lot at all. I'll show you how to get that for okay. a buck. So, so that's step one is matching all those links, okay? Here's step two, and I'll, and I'll make this rest of the part quick. Yeah, you have right. more likes than most people. Yeah. To this date, I've spoken to hundreds. I actually, no, I've helped. I've helped hundreds of agents on this exact ad, right? I've spoken to thousands of agents. Now, you can't help everyone, right? I've spoken yeah. to way more than I actually, actually helped. And that's how you are too. You've spoken to way more people than you actually closed escrows with, right? Like you, that's just how yeah. it is. We speak to a lot of people. I've helped hundreds. I've spoken to thousands. I've literally looked at tens of thousands of pages. Okay. This is a fact. This is since 2016. This is all I do. Real estate, Facebook pages, social media. This is all I talk about. This is step two. When I look at tens of thousands of real estate agent pages, 99% of them have three to 400 likes. Yeah. You have more than most people. But what I'm saying is that the 846, majority of those came from you clicking invite to the 3600. Yeah. Yeah. Now, here's the <laughs> thing about the 3600. The number is 99, but I'll give you 10%. I'll say 90. 90% 90 of the 3600 do not know you. 90% 90, 90 of the 3,600 do not live in your area. Mm -hmm. So if we're clicking invite to those people to get them to like our page, 99%, 90% 90 of the 846 do not live in the area. Mm -hmm. That's why when we post anything, we rarely get engagement because 90 plus percent of the 846 do not live in that area. And at the same time, Facebook is only showing it to 1%. Gotcha. So posting is not what I would have your team tell you to do. Like posting is not where your ROI is going to come and it's not going to be happen from click and invite. So what I call step two is before we even get to lead capture and how we're going to run a Facebook ad to capture leads. All I'm saying is you want to take that number up a little higher. Gotcha. Your next Facebook ad should be on taking that number up. It should be a Facebook like ad. Okay. That ad is before your lead capture ad. So again, to this date, not one agent knows how to run that ad the right way because what they try to do is they try to target their local area. That like ad is the only ad that you have to run to everyone on Facebook who fits the interests of home ownership. So you're not going to target a specific area. You're going to target an interest, which is home ownership. Okay. And all I'm saying is you should take that number up a little higher. Not that high because you're already, you're already at, a, at a good number, but take it a little higher so you don't have to click invite anymore. Awesome. Because, he, because on the business page, just like on the personal page, this intro is the first impression. On the business page, this like count is the first impression. Yeah. So when I come to Christina's page and I see 846, I come to Candy's page and I see 3,500. I don't know Christina. Wow. I don't know Candy. But automatically, I'm assuming Candy is the queen. Yeah. Just because of a number. So rather than clicking your way invite to 3,500, you would run one simple ad and take that number up a little higher. And if anything, I can help you run that ad. I mean, all I'll charge you is a review on my page. Like, I won't even charge you for that. So okay. just let me know what your budget is. And, and that's the first, that's the next dollar. And that's the first ad that you should for sure run is we have to put a comma in that number like tomorrow. Okay. That's, that's step two. Step three is when you start taking these posts and running ads directly to your local area. It's not okay. about posting on the page every day. It's about taking one post 
whether it's a listing, whether it's an open house, or whether we're giving away. So rather than just posting content like this, mm. get your hands on a buyer guide or a seller guide. Okay, I have gonna, one. Perfect. Your weekly ad, I'm telling you one per week. So rather than trying to post every day randomly, one per week. That's an ad and you're promoting a buyer guide or you're promoting a seller guide. And that's a weekly okay. ad. Now, if you okay. happen to have a listing, then you're running an ad for the listing for that week. If you have an open house coming up, then you're running an ad for the open house coming up. But if you don't have a listener open house, these posts consist of right below, like you wrote out the text and right here, the last sentence, click learn more to download your free 2020 seller guide that will give you the top 10 tips on what to do to increase the value of your home before selling or whatever you want to say but it's given away for free. What you did here is you posted it for everyone to see. No one's in that area. What I'm saying, step three, is run an ad on it. Okay. And it's gonna be a conversions ad. And when we click on learn more, you're taking me straight to one single page similar to, let's just say this one. If I click on learn more, let's go back to your page really quick. You were giving away, you put, send me a DM if you want to learn more. So it wouldn't be send me a DM, it would, it would be click learn more. Mm -hmm. Because that learn more button will be down here. It'll be an ad. It's targeting the local area. This is going out to everyone. Let's, let's focus in and narrow in to just the local area. They click learn more. They come to one single page. And you could title it whatever you want. 10 simple tips to raise the value of your home before selling. Yep, it's free. I'll also send you a step-by-step -step plan to getting started. This is what I call step four. Step three is the weekly ad giving away a seller guide. Step four is bringing them to a landing page where they click on one single button and that's how you capture a lead. So you fill your pipe with hundreds of people that live down the street that are all interested in selling. Because why else would they want a seller guide, mm -hmm. right? Or a buyer guide. So in order for you to capture leads in 2020, it's not just a post. It's not just, hey, guys, I'm great. List with me. No, it's, you got to give me something. Give me something of value and give it to me for free. And the best way you can do it from a marketing perspective is a PDF, a download. Click learn more, you guys. It'll take you straight to my webpage where you can download your free PDF on the top 10 tips to increase the value of your home before selling. Or it could be a buyer guide. Hey, guys, click learn more. It'll take you straight to my page where you can download your buyer guide. This is going to give you the top 10 things you want to do before you apply for your next mortgage. Tip number one, make sure you're pre-approved. Make sure you speak to a lender. Tip number two, make sure your FICO score is above 700. Tip number three, make sure your debt to income ratio, right? You can put together any type of PDF that would give value to that consumer. And only a person that is interested in buying would ever care to download it. Mm -hmm. That's who you fill your pipe with, is hundreds of people that live down the street that are all interested in that topic. Now, when it comes to the Facebook ad, I'm telling you step three, run one every week. I would recommend staying on topic, staying on one topic. Either you're gonna go after buyers and giving away a buyer guide, and that's your weekly strategy, or you're going to focus on sellers and give away a seller guide. Don't try to mix the two. Yeah. Okay. Do one. Focus on one. And this is only for the Facebook ad campaign. It's a monthly campaign. You want to run an ad every week, which is technically every day. Mm -hmm. So you're running one, one, one ad every week. It's one. It's just one. And then, and, then, and then after that week, run a different one. After that week, want to run a different one. So it's four ads a month you want to be running. One every week, which is every day. But again, if you're not running it for the week on a listing, you're running it on giving away your seller guide. Your entire marketing campaign evolves around your free seller guide. That's the only way someone gets to Christina is if they saw your ad and they clicked on it and they downloaded their seller guide. No one's DMing you. No one's commenting on some random post. We're not having to look at our social media and post all damn day. No, we're running strategic, strategic ads directly to our local area. People are filling out the form and we're filling up, a, we're filling up our CRM. And, and, and so step four is the landing page. Step five is now that I have that email, that email needs to be, that lead needs to be nurtured. So step five, 
You ran the ad, step three. You took me to a landing page, step four. You captured my name and email, step five. Right when I put in my name and email, an email autoresponder needs to send out that information right away. So that email autoresponder is going to send me that PDF right away. You're not going to physically do it. Like, I don't want you, you got other things to do. Don't, you're not going to be emailing people all damn day, right? It's your email mm -hmm. autoresponder. That's step five. So your email autoresponder would email that PDF right away. Hey, Dave, this is Christina. Thank you so much for downloading our, downloading our 2020 seller guide. Here's, here's the link to download. Click there. But tomorrow, I get another email. Hey, Dave, this is Christina. Just wanted to follow up. I know yesterday you downloaded our 2020 seller guide. Hey, do you remember on page three when I was talking about curb appeal? Here's what I meant. And also, by the way, click the link below. It'll take you straight to our calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you, Dave. So now every other day I'm receiving an email about the seller guide and about the process of selling with a call to action in every email. And the call to action is to get them to click your link to schedule a call. So five days later, hey, Dave, this is Christina just following up. I know a few days ago you downloaded our 2020 seller guide. Do you remember on page nine when I was talking about renovating your kitchen? Here's what I meant. And by the way, Dave, click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar. So if you're interested in selling or you just have some random questions, I'd love to speak to you. Click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Talk to you soon. And these are just automated emails that are going out nurturing this list while you're out with your family doing what you, doing what you do. Those are five steps, Christina. Step one, all those links, making your page stand out. Step two, taking that like count up. I would go from 800. I would take that to 2,800 right away. 2,800 right away with that, without, it, without a blink of an eye. That's, that, that's just what I'm saying you, you should do. When I land here, I need to see a big number. When I land on Candy's page, I see a big number. Show me a big number. Every agent has 200 likes. Show me a couple thousand. That's step two. And then step three, just start running. We can always schedule another call if you want to go deep into how to run that, how to run these step three lead capture ads. Okay. Step four is, is the weekly ad. Step two on the like ad, that's a one-time ad. So taking that to 2,800, that's a one-time ad. That's not a weekly ad. That's not a monthly ad. I'm telling you step two is a one-time ad to take that like count through the roof quick. But after right. step two, you go to step three, that's a weekly ad. So that's when we'll have to go more into deep and that'll be a whole nother call. If you need to learn how to run those weekly ads, I can for sure teach you to do that. Mm. But that, that, that's what you want to be doing with these posts is not just random posting. I want you running them to your local area. Okay. That's, and, and, I, and I want you taking them to a landing page where you're giving away a seller guide or a buyer guide. That's step four and okay. five. So right now, right now, I know that was a ton of information right now. It's customizing all those links and taking that like count up. So have you ran a like ad before or, or recently or anything like that? No, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> okay, so that, that might just take you more time and more money than you need to. If anything, I can easily run that for you. You just let me know what your budget is. Whatever your budget, it does not matter. I can easily run it for you. Just give me a good review on my business page. Okay. So just let me know how... I mean, either you can either let me know how high do we want to go or, or really just what's the budget. And I'll tell you how high we can expect to go. Like what, what can we, like if that was our first ad, if we were going to run an ad for just a month, what can we put towards this one ad to take that number up? And I'll kind of give you an idea of what, how many likes we can expect from it. Um, I mean, even just like, I mean, how much would 50 bucks get me? 50 bucks would take that number for sure to 1500. What a okay. lot of people do is they'll spend either they'll spend either five bucks a day and we'll just run it for a month. So that'd be like a okay. 150 budget or they'll spend $10 a day and we run it for a month. It just, I mean, it just depends on your budget. I don't, I don't care. You can go as all I'm saying is we need to put a comma faster than fast. So okay. it kind of doesn't matter, but like in Candy's case to get to 3,500, she started at 200. So she had 200 likes, just like every agent. She had 200. But she put ten dollars a day, and that was a three hundred budget, and she went up to thirty five, and that was a one time ad. Never again will she ever run that ad. That's step two. Now, now we're focused on lead capture. That's step three. So, mm -hmm. in your case, you could put fifty bucks. 
you can do whatever. But if you did, if you did, if you did at least a hundred, it would take it up a thousand. So that number would be at 1800 on a, on a $100 one-time budget. Mm -hmm. Or if you went, you know, five bucks a day for a month and that's 150, it'd take it up even higher. So it's just, it's just up to you. I mean, I'll easily run it for you. Just give me a review and, and then we can um, talk again about step three and I can coach on the, on the lead capture ads. Yeah. I mean, I could do 150. That's fine. I just don't, I didn't know what it, you know, what it costs or I have no idea, you yeah, know, well, five I, bucks a day, you know, is 150. So five bucks a day, we run it for a month and, and, mm -hmm. and that's a 150 budget. And that would take, that would literally take that number at, at 100. It'd go to, it'd go to 18. That would, that number for sure at, at five bucks a day, running it for the month would take that number to 2000. Okay. And that's all you would need. Like that's, that's it. That's step two. That's a one-time deal. Then okay. I'll, I'll, I'll send you a few emails over the next week or so teaching you step three, four, and five. And that's when we can always jump on another call. Okay. So right now, and also what I can also do is send you a video. Like I have a little short, like 12 minute video on step one. So okay. you could take that one video and, and customize step one, all those links. You watch that one video in two minutes, you'll have your links customized. Okay. So I can easily email you that and that's step one. So in the meantime, let's get step one done. Let's get step two done. And then let's chat again whenever on, on okay. running lead capture ads. But let's, let's at least use your page as an example. Let's get the links up. Let's get that like count up. And that's, th this is the blueprint. Gotcha. Okay. So are you on a computer right now? Yeah. Okay. Go to your, go to your business page real quick. All I'm going to do is just request access to your page really quick so I can start the ad. What do you do? How many do you have, kids? Oh, just one. He's a, just one? One, so he's a nightmare right now. How old is he? He's one. I oh mean, like, gosh. he's 14 months, but one, you know? <laughs> like, 14 months. So when was he, what was his month? When was he born? Um, he was born uh, March 29th. Gotcha. My daughter was... Yeah. My daughter was August. Oh, that's so awesome. she is. So she'll be two. She'll be two this August. Okay. So it goes fast, Christina. Man, it yeah. goes so fast, dude. Like it's not even funny. <laughs> so enjoy it. Let me know when you're on your business page. Okay. So all I'm gonna do. Yeah, let me know when you're there because then I'm going to send this. I'm going to click and you should get a notification. Okay, let me see. I have to get out of this. My daughter's going to be, well, first of all, my son, gosh, time just flies, Christina. Time just flies, dude. Like, I'm now yeah. thinking of all my kids and I'm like, dang, dude. Because my son, my wife, she has an 18 year old from her previous marriage. Mm -hmm. She has an 18 year old son. And then I have a 12 year old son from my previous. And just to think that he's 12 now. So your little boy at one, he's going to be 12 yeah. before you know it. Like, I'm not even, I'm not even joking, dude. It's not even, it's scary. Like my little boy's 12. He already, he, well, he's. He should have graduated sixth grade, but they're doing this whole freaking crazy virtual stupid graduation. Yeah. Thing, right. So <laughs> I just truly believe he got cheated out, man. They, these kids, even, tw even seniors, like, I that, know, I, gosh, that's a whole nother story. Like I'm just so pissed, man. But he, yeah, he just finished sixth grade. And then now we have a little daughter who's about to be two. And then now we have a little boy that'll be here next month. Wow. So oh, that's like, exciting. Congrats. Dude, thank you so much. It's just, it's crazy times, man. It's crazy times. It's freaking scary times. And it's like, <laughs> I don't know what the hell to think, you know? Yeah. But we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Yeah. It's all good. But just enjoy it. Enjoy it. Because your time, that time, that little boy, oh my gosh, he's going to grow so fast. <laughs> I know. It's, it's a blessing uh, that you're actually there, you know, that you're actually yeah. able to be there with him as crazy as your business can get, you know, but you're yeah. There. Don't take that so for granted. Right. I know. Let me know when you're on uh, your page. Yeah, I'm on my business page now. Okay, cool. Let me know if you receive a notification.
Sometimes it pushes through, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, if you didn't get it by now, you probably didn't get it. So that's fine. Click on, um, go to your business page and click on settings in the top. Oh, okay, I think it might be in there. It, and it'll be from Inspired Digital. Okay, settings and then, and then is it page, page roles. four? Okay. Oh, page roles. Page. Yeah, you'll see page roles to the left. Okay. You see page rolls? Yeah. Okay. Click on that. And then towards the middle of the page, if you just scroll down, you'll see respond to request. It'll say inspired digital. Um, and then you got to respond to request. Oh yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Perfect. And then just follow that through and then it'll ask you for your password. And so after, after the month, after we run this ad $5 a day, we'll run it for the month. You can all right where it says respond to request. It'll, it'll always say from, well, the moment you add me after that, like in the next 10 seconds or whatever, it'll say remove. So after 30 days, after the ad is done, you can always remove me. So okay. I don't have to stay on the page, you know? Gotcha. So let me know when you put in your password. Okay. I did it. Okay, cool. Let me refresh my page. And what I'll do is I'll email you the video on step one. So that'll easily walk you through customizing all those links and it'll really, really save you a ton of time on trying to figure it all out. Um, and then I'll also email you a snapshot of the ad. So I'll get the ad started tonight. And all I do is I, I, I type in luxury homes and Facebook pulls all these images of beautiful homes. And I use, I use one of their images. And so I'll send you an actual snapshot of the ad and you'll, you'll see what it looks like once I get it all set up tonight. Okay. Okay, cool. And then just give me whatever card I can use for the ad, either Visa, Master, or Amex. Oh, okay. And I'll um, email you an actual, you'll get a receipt for the ad as well. Okay. What do you mean? Like I have to give you my credit card information yeah. or I can't? Put it? Okay. I like right. What do you, oh, okay. Um, oh. Um, I just don't want to give, is there like a safe way to do it? Like how um, do I pay? Like, I'm just like giving my credit card information. Yeah, that's just kind of um, what I've, what we've always done. Um, mm -hmm. There's not like PayPal or like Venmo. Facebook, they, they either take a card. I don't know if they take PayPal. But um, I mean, like how to or like, how do I pay for that? Like, I paid for that. My credit cards on Facebook. Yeah, but I'm you not going to I'm not going to use your ad account. I just use my ad account. So I run it from my ad account from your business page. And then I actually send you a receipt for it all. And so okay. that's what I've, I've just always done, like these last 70 reviews. So you're going to be 71. Mm -hmm. And I need to be I'd hate for you to be that 71 person that says, damn, David took my credit card. Don't be that review, but that's just what I I've done. Um, okay. <laughs> Don't be that review, but no, you'll get, you'll get a, a receipt. You'll get an email right away. Uh, okay. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. I am not. Okay. Um, it's four, three, one, one. Four, three, who fits the interest of home ownership. After we take that to 2000, we are on to step three. So just check okay. my emails over the next week or so, because I definitely want to help you with that. Because if this is going to be your role on the mm -hmm. team, you have to run these Facebook ads the right way. The like ad, that's one, that's one, that's one thing. Not everyone is going to even know about that right away. So we can always help them with that too. But what they're going to always look for, these people on your team, especially this guy that's 26, they want leads mm -hmm. like bottom line is yeah. leads, and that's step three, step four and step five. So check my emails over the next week or so. I'm going to educate you and teach you on that. But if you ever need to jump on a call, let's jump on a call because I can coach you on how to run those ads the right way, which will just bring a ton of value to your team. Okay. Because the last thing you want to do is start spending their money and running lead capture ads, but running the wrong type of ad. 
Yeah. And it's not just about giving away a seller guide or a buyer guide. Yeah, that's the strategy, but the actual setup, like how, like which ad do we choose? Because Facebook has a ton of different ads, engagement, traffic, video views, like knowing the right ad and then, and then knowing how to put the pixel on the web page. There's a lot that goes into the setup before you even run the ad. Okay. So that's what I want to coach you on. Cause I truly believe no one, no one knows how to do that part. Right. Yeah. So, so that's true. the pixel. Um, Okay. Yeah, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, so I, I recently did my buyer's guide and that this is kind of like, you know, perfect timing because wow. I've been looking to, prom to promote it online, perfect. but I don't know how, yeah, like I've oh. gotten a couple people to click on it, you know, and then it's like, same thing. Like, what do I do with these people or how do I nurture oh, them? Man. So it's just, this is kind of perfect because I would like to constantly run this ad and know that you know get more people in there i have like maybe two people that clicked on it and i'm like what do i do now because right? yeah. i don't want the same people it's like i'm trying to reach new people instead of spamming like the same yes. people that get every day okay that's step three now right. now it's now it's running that post whatever that post was running it as a local ad okay that's step one Step two, taking them to a landing page to capture the lead. And then step three, that email automation. Okay. So that is my passion. That's what I coach on. We need to talk about that next. Okay, I was going to so, say, can we schedule the next call? Let's do it. What, what, let, I want to start that ad tonight. And then we'll, what's today? Today's Wednesday. Today's Wednesday? Today's Wednesday? Yeah. We'll start yeah, yeah. In, in no, Thursday. Today's Thursday? Yeah. Dang, today's Thursday already. Okay, cool. So then yeah. we'll start to see an increase over the weekend on the likes. And that can run behind the scenes simultaneously as we even maybe start the next ad. So it's up to you whenever you wanna whenever you wanna chat. What what what's the <laughs> date? Friday, Saturday, we could talk Monday, whatever's whatever's best for you. Um Are you Eastern time? But yeah. You're Eastern? You say, so like next, like this coming Monday? Yeah, we could do Monday. Okay. Yeah, that works. Let's do, let's do Monday. And I have okay. to, I have to update my calendar so it can show. Cause I always cut it off at the end of the month. But what, um, in fact, let me, let me, I might as well do that now. Let me, let me, this will take two seconds. What time is, is good for you? Um, I mean the same time is fine. Okay, so what what did we schedule? We scheduled eleven, or no? We scheduled what is it, noon? Yeah. We scheduled noon, noon your time. Yeah. Okay, cool. So let me. So what I'll do is I'll email you. I'll email you a confirmation, and 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 we'll yeah consider it scheduled. I just have to update this real quick, but I don't want to keep okay. you. Waiting. Yeah. So no, check your email, noon, Monday. And that's when we're going to go, we're going to dive into lead capture and I'll, and I'll show you around the ads manager on which ad to run. Okay. On, on the only ad to run to, to capture leads. So okay. we'll do that. We'll do that on Monday at noon. Okay. Perfect. Cool. All right, Christina. So check out for my emails later on, reach out to me if you need anything. I'll be a message away. Thank you so much. I appreciate You're it. You're so, so welcome. Chat okay. soon. Okay. Thanks. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye. You too. Bye-bye.